Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudio Mir here again. Let's talk today about Amcraft camera running on this Roku TV. As you can see, I have the remote control and back here, the camera, it's running on the TV. It's a little bit slow today, as you can see, but we can fix that, okay? Let me just come back here to the main menu so you can see the software that I'm using. This is the IP Camera Viewer Pro running the Amicrest camera. And I also have different cameras, such as the Samsung camera. And I also have Hike Vision, Axis. It works with different cameras, okay? Let's just focus here on the Amicrest at first. So back here, you can see the IP Camera Viewer Pro. There's also the basic. You just need to come to your Roku TV and install the software. You look for software, install it. The basic version is for one camera and the Viewer Pro is for more than one camera. That's why I have Axis, I have Hike Vision and Amcrest and I have a different video that shows different cameras, okay? So here, let's just focus on Amcrest. If you get your new camera, you can come to this add new camera menu. And here you put all the information, camera name, description, IP, TCP port, login, and password. And you hit OnVIF Auto Config. OnVIF is the universal protocol for security cameras. Uh, you can also try to use camera name here. Let's say, for example, Amcrest, it's here. And you can try it, right? At first, for example, if you don't have your camera brand here, okay, uh, you can just use the OnVIF protocol, right? But uh, I already have all the information about this camera. So let me just come directly to my Amcrest camera and edit. So I'm going to click here and I already have the camera name, description, IP. Remember that I gave the IP for my camera or the camera gets from the router, right? And the camera and the TV are in the same network connecting to the same router, right? So here, TCP port, username and password. And I just hit auto config. It finds the camera on the network. It just click this URL to connect to my camera. That's the one that I'm gonna use. I click to test the camera configuration. I see the image on the right side and I just save the camera. Pretty easy. You see the TV is trying to communicate with the camera using the software, of course. I see here the image on the right side and I just click to pull to uh, full screen, okay? And then we're going to improve that configuration uh, because when you come here to the camera again and edit the camera and you try to use OnVIF, you see that I have just one option available, okay? This JPEG stream. So I can fix that by coming to the camera and changing some configuration, okay? So here in my web browser, I see the camera, it's working. So I can I come here to the setup menu, camera and video. And here you see the encode mode is H.264 and the smart codec it's on. So you're going to change that to H.264B. It stands for base configuration of this codec. And here is smart codec off, okay? And then I'm going to save and the camera is going to reboot, okay? And also I can change some parameters here later. So we can see that's going to work. Right now, it's not gonna work if I try to change something here and I need to save first and reboot the camera. And then when the camera comes back, I'm just save again because sometimes it just shows the messages here that save failed. Just wait for the camera to reboot. Okay, so now the camera is back. You come here to setup in video. Here you see the codec mode is H264B, smart codec off. And then you need to come here and change this substring to MJPEG. Okay. And hit save. And you're ready to go. Okay. Let's come back to the TV. Here we come again to OnVIF Auto Config. And now it looks for the information. And you see I have an extra stream, Media Profile Channel 1. I click on it and I test the configuration again. And you see I have the video on the right side. I save it. And now I'm gonna have a different image on the screen, which is much, much faster, you see. But the resolution is not good. The compression is not good, you see, it's faster now. And then I need to set up something else here on the camera. Let's just come back to the camera. So again, here on the web browser, I'm gonna change here the bit rate, okay? And I have different values here. Let me just put this one 2480, 
Okay, that's basically 20 megabits per second. And then hit save. Come back to the TV and you see that's already working. Okay, it's better now because it's using more bandwidth, right? Let me just move the camera to see if it works. Okay, working fine. Right side. All on this car. Pretty good, huh? Left side again. Just click in here. And now let me just zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Working pretty good, okay? Tilt again. And it's working fine. Pretty good. Zoom out. And it's working much, much better now because I just changed all the configuration here, okay? So basically now here you see that the bit rate is 20 megabits per second or 20,000 kbits per second, which is the same. And now the camera is compressing less because this MJPEG compress less the image. Then that's the reason you use more bandwidth. But if you have the bandwidth enough in your network, it's going to work, okay? So back live here, you see the camera is working on my web browser and also working on my TV, okay? So that's it. If you have your Amcrest camera, you want to run on the Roku TV, that's the way you have to do it, okay? So that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments, and I see you in the next one.